What's up, everybody? Um, so I did that swamp cooler bucket tutorial that's been posted on YouTube, and I tried out the design that someone did where they cut three holes in the front of the bucket, and they had the swamp cooler sponge like right up against the bucket, and then they put some screen in front of that to prevent drips from coming outside of here, and I tried that design and it actually did not work very well um, and the reason why is because when you have the swamp cooler sponge butted right up against the plastic the air is only going through that sponge where you actually have holes cut out and so the design I came up with um, that works a lot better than that original one I tried You can see here. Well, I'm gonna take the lid off real quick. All right, there we go. As you can see, I took some uh, metal mesh and just made a little frame to wrap the swamp cooler sponge around, and then I just zip tied it and I made it smaller then the bucket that way when you have your uh, there's the little fish tank pump down there at the bottom I got that off eBay for five bucks that pumps the water up to this T here and it goes around in a circle and then I just drilled little holes in the bottom of that about one in every inch there's a hole on the bottom about an eighth inch and then that that keeps the sponge nice and wet but as you can see when the fans on top here it blows down through the center and then the air goes through the entire sponge into this extra area back here that way you actually are using all of the sponge and then the cooled down air all back here is forced to come out these three slits that I made in the front here and as you can see and the bucket is on, or the lid is on. Uh, I ran into the problem where I've got this gap here so the air can actually go over top and then come out. So, what I did is I took those slit pieces here and zip tied them together in a circle, and then that inserts there and kind of makes a little wind guard so it forces the, forces the air to actually go down through the center and out. And it, that design works really well, and I imagine if you filled up this middle section with ice cubes, it'd work even better than that. But I'll just turn this on and show you. But compared to that first design, this one's seriously ten times better because you're actually having air pass through every square inch of the of the swamp cooler sponge rather than just three little areas this big, you know. But I marked where I, once the water gets to that level, that's when I fill it back up. And you can see the water's about right there. I can, it takes about two gallons to fill it up to there, but um, that, that uses up about a gallon of water every, seems about every four to five hours I can add another gallon of water. So that's, that's having a lot of cool water come into the room. And I can feel it from pretty far away too. So, but anyways, I uh, just thought I'd share that with everybody. If you're trying this bucket design, this one will definitely work better.